स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय कब्ज और उससे संबंधित तकलीफों का समाधान बैद्यनाथ कब्ज हार दे कब्ज में आराम प्राकृतिक और सुरक्षित In a historic development while speaking at the 9th edition of Rice and a Dialogue in New Delhi on Wednesday Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis said that Bharat is a great power on the world stage Ladies and gentlemen today India is a great power on the world stage an important ally in the pursuit of peace and security a rising force at the heart of the G20 and a leading player in the fight against climate change India's status is reflected in the strategic relations that the European Union enjoys with India. Further underlining the strength of partnership between the two great nations, Mitsotaki said that the ties between the two democracies are rooted in millennia-old economic, cultural and philosophical connections. PM Narendra Modi inaugurated the 9th edition of Rice in a Dialogue in New Delhi on Wednesday, which will go on till Friday. Prime Minister of Greece joined the inaugural session as the chief guest. And in Prime Minister Modi, I have found a visionary principal leader and there I say a true friend and uh, the importance that we attach to our relations with uh, India is evident not only uh, in the increase of our bilateral contacts over the past uh, year but also Uh, in uh, the partnerships we have developed Mitsotakis was welcomed to Bharat on Wednesday with a grand ceremony at the Presidential Palace in New Delhi which was hosted by Prime Minister Narendra Modi He is the first Greek premier to travel to Bharat in 16 years and his trip is a follow up to Modi's visit to Athens last year which was the first by an Bharatiya prime minister in 4 decades Showing immense trust in Bharat, the Greek Prime Minister has requested PM Modi to play a leading role in building international partnerships to meet the unprecedented challenges brought by the wars in Ukraine and the Middle East and the changes in the climate and energy securities. Meanwhile, both the leaders also held talks on boosting the bilateral ties in various sectors. India is the world's fastest big economy. Greece has over the past years enjoyed some of the fastest growth rates of any European country. Mutual investment is a major goal of our bilateral relations. And I'm pleased to say that we already have a number of uh, significant Greek investments here in India in many sectors including food processing led by one of our leading companies Chipita and Infrastructure, maritime and air transport logistics. One of our leading banks, Eurobank is establishing its first office in India, but India India is already investing heavily in Greece's infrastructure. Mitsotaki has positioned Bharat as a significant global power, applauding its role in peace, security and climate change mitigation. Bharat and Greece while discussing defense sector emphasized upon the need of both the countries to benefit from opportunities in defense collaboration. Addressing the same, PM Modi added that Bharat and Greece have agreed to link their defense industries and have also agreed to boost ties in the pharmaceutical space and shipping sectors. Both the nations seek to double their bilateral trade by 2030 from nearly 2 billion in 2022-23 and established a working group to tackle common challenges like defense, cybersecurity, counterterrorism and maritime security which would consequently increase mutual coordination. Meanwhile the India Middle East Europe corridor was also highlighted for its potential to foster peace and prosperity in the region speaking on the significance PM Modi remarked that the IMEC corridor will contribute significantly to the development of humanity in the long run while Greece can also become an important partner in this initiative regarding this Greece outlined itself to act as Bharat's gateway to Europe by offering Bharatiya investors access to its seaport and airports and the prospects for strengthening our connection thanks to the india middle east europe corridor what we call the imec project which was launched by india during its g20 presidency are even brighter uh, greece we just have to look at the map to realize this is uh, india's gateway uh, to europe uh, and through imec we see our participation 
as a very important uh, aspect of this uh, strategic partnership. But of course, as we discussed, in order to uh, achieve this, we need uh, peace in the Middle East, and stability is uh, the necessary condition uh, for every project that aims to increase the way the prosperity um, of the greater region to the benefit of all countries uh, involved. On day two of the Raisana Dialogue, External Affairs Minister S. Jashankar, while condemning Nehru's decision to take Jammu and Kashmir to the UN, said that Bharat took the Kashmir aggression issue to the United Nations and others made it an accession issue and used it for geopolitics. Jashankar also condemned the West holding it responsible for the current situation in the world. Furthermore, he pointed out the need to create groups for change to tackle the global issues better instead of relying on the bigger powers. Passed on multilateralism and took the Kashmir aggression issue to the UN, and others made it into an accession issue, and they did it for geopolitical reasons. So the fact is, you know, if you say our people play multilateralism, they always do. We grown up, and so today we are, we you know, uh, look up. It's not like we should be against multilateralism. Multilateralism is a kind of lowest common denominator and anything about that.